don't know how many key points I have left. No, and it says I've got eight key you, points. So <laughs> you've got everything. Holy shit! So am I running Runar? Because I can, I guess. You can. I got yep. a sheet. Yeah, I got a sheet. So hey, he's got sixty-nine hit points. Nice. Mm -hmm. oh, well, he's, got well. really good, he's got a really good um, Mayan sword. Oh, that's right. He has a super sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're not trying to kill here. We're trying to incapacitate and uh, enhance interrogation. Right. I, I'm thinking of an extraordinary rendition on the mountain. Do. The sword can incap incapacitate him. All right, let's see what I got here. If he doesn't I have can... legs, he'll be incapacitated. Yeah, that? but... Okay. What about his I legs? Say hit him with, I want to hit him with confusion. I'm going to stone skin myself, hit him with confusion, see what happens. Okay. That door's coming open. We're going in. What's the door made of? Um, you know, it's been two months since I looked. Let me check. <laughs> because if it's wood, I, I mean, that... it's a it's like heavy wood. Okay. That's not a problem for Elephant Man. Let me. I don't know. Second, plug in my Probably computer correctly. Do that. You can't cast any big spell in this small room, though. It'll hurt everybody. What what level are we supposed to be? Eight? Is that correct? We're eight, I think. Yeah. yeah. I'm eight, at least. And don't worry, murdering this harmless old halfling will definitely get you to level nine. No doubt in my mind. Excuse me. Well, again, uh... we're not trying to murder. Just to capacitate and possibly torture. But then what Elvator says. I I appreciate the fact that you live in fantasy land. But let's be honest. You gonna do some killing. No, 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 no. See again, Tiefling's got a bad reputation. That's not entirely true. We don't kill everything, just most certain uh, things. Pretty much We're all. Right? You remind me of the bartender I met in Scotland. <laughs> Okay, well. Okay, let me notice. Okay. So. Elvator will assist with the incapacitation. Okay. <clears throat> so, are we busting the door down? Well, yeah. You know, the door okay, you guys think... are gonna. Let's see. Can I pass pass without trace? So he doesn't see me. You mean when the door opens again? Let's see. Let's see. How does it work? A veil of shadows and silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. For the duration, each creature you choose within thirty feet of you is a plus ten. Da da da. It can't be tracked except by magical means. A creature receives this bonus, leaves no tracks or other traces of its passage. <laughs> Boom. We, we pass without trace, bust open the door, confusion, uh, hold person, whatever, then we incapacitate. Okay. So you cast you your pass without... That... What's that? You cast your pass without trace, though, correct? I'm going to cast pass without trace. I'm casting it right now. Before we okay. go in, I'm casting it now. But okay, what so is that? I mean, cast... It's not really going to do us Stop. any good, though, is it? He's casting it. He's cast the spell. Yep. I don't see why you and... need to do that. We're going to go and fight the guy. I cast armor of Agathys. Okay. I cast kick on the door. I cast kick! <laughs> Alright. Hold on. Are you ready? All right, what's Runar going to do? Sorry, I got to check see where Runar's going to do. I think he should, like, knock some arrows. 
That's the verb, right? Knock the knocking. Why don't we knock on the door? He might just open it. Uh, I think, yeah, we're going to have Runar knock some arrows. We're going to have Makuto ready to leap on, like, the word. Mm-hmm. And then, then let's just do this thing, y'all. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So, as you guys are having this conversation, you're casting spells, two Onai appear, uh, one between Basil and Ethan, and one next to Vicon, or behind Vicon. And who's knocking fuck? on the door? What? Who's I Who's knocking on the door? Um, well, Ramon was, seems I, the most committed, so... I was knocking on the door. So, yeah, I'm at the door. Come in! Come in? Alright. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he's... Is, is he... When he allows us in to the room... So can you open he the door? Just said, come, no, no, no. He did not allow you in. He said, come in. Okay. Can we... Is the door locked? Nope. Can we open said door? Yeah, it's unlocked. Okay, let's open the door. And let's appear peaceful. Okay. And who's standing in front of the door? So I will enter the room. Okay. As the door opens, you are hit with a spell. The problem is Bastard. this crappy freaking thing is not letting me find uh the spell. Oh, okay. So annoying. I can't find his sheet. Okay. What's a spell yeah. of intangibility? Cone of cold. Cone of cold. Yep. Dang. Cone of cold. That bastard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Elvator is warming up to the notion of torture. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Sorry, I can't. Oh, spell, 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 spell. Is the map on the screen? I don't see it. Yeah, yes. it's there. Okay, you guys wait, see I... the two things that popped up, right? Yeah. What are those things? I see three. Uh, you should see two. I see but three. I have... Okay, then I'll There's that. There's one right... There's two right next to Vicon, and then yeah, there's the one next to Basil. The outer one is not there. Okay. Maybe I'll refresh okay. the page and see what happens. I said reload. Ever oh, since I got funny. a 4K TV, my... My goodness, my browser is so slow. Oh my goodness, that delay? You got a delay going on. Yeah. I'm still Why seeing that second one. Wait, we gotta All make right. a save against this? Should yeah, that's that's what a... That's what those kind of spells do. Con save. Well, I, we I can't get this, And though. each of squares is 10 feet, right? Yeah. You yeah. Know, why did I ask that? I can just do this. Well, I'm definitely in the cone because I was trying to sneak into the room and hit him with confusion. Well, yeah. So. Okay. I'm just quickly checking. I fail. And just. What is my con? Right well, now? that goes through my. That's unfortunate because that'll basically go what through my. So have have you rolled? Have you rolled the eight d eight? No. Okay, well... That's the end of his cone of cold, and it's pretty much just hitting the doorway. Ah, come on. Oh, there we go. So anyone in this block, so Makuto, Ethan, Baba, oh, it should be five of you. The five of you in that block all have to do a save. Do you have a dot? No, I What's the range on the cone of cold? Uh, it's like sixty. It's big. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's everybody. Yeah. You, know, okay. time, you and Basil are actually out of it, but yeah. you guys have your own problems. Everybody in those blue lines. Yep. Except for that weird thing. I didn't get the crayfish. I missed them. 
Okay. Well, that's perfectly fine. That, my card's 19. I'm going to roll. So 25 is the point of damage for those who failed to save. How much? 25. Uh, my constitution's 19, so I rolled a 19. Yeah. If you made it, then you take uh, 12. Okay. Okay. I am trying to roll. And who? And that came from the door, right? That came, as soon as the door, as soon as you guys open the door, he hit you with the spell. Okay. He hit you with the fire extinguisher. Okay, so what's the what's the spell yes. safe? What's the spell safe? Uh, I'm looking right now. This is a damn good question. What is it? Pull it back up. Uh, con safe. No, but what what is the number? Oh. Um, wouldn't that be 16? So it would be... Yeah, that's what he rolled. It, it, that's what I rolled, but what it, like, in his... Like, when he did the oh, spell I'm description? I'm sorry. Uh, con save... What's the DC, basically? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. So, there's no actual sheet for him, so let's go with a 13. I okay, sure. Let's go with it. I'll go with it. Oh, I got to roll for Ruinar, right? Ruinar can't okay. hit, right? And then if we yeah. pass, we get we take twelve damage, right? Yep. Okay, so that went through the majority of my temporary HP. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, Theranos. No, 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 that's not me, that's actually uh, Ruinar. Oh, Theranos well. Has. Oh yeah, Theranos Ruinar did. Has hit. You have so a plus Ruinar 5 to con saves, that's pretty good. Yeah, Ruinar takes 24. Yikes. What about Kitty? I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting there. Kitty's not going to be happy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, for whatever shit, reason, that's, I can't that's a rid. lot of damage. Holy shit! Okay, now let me roll from a Kutso. In the immortal words of Admiral Akbar, yeah. it's a trap. It's a trap. No. Nope. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna kill that cat. How many hit points does it have? Armor class, hit points. Wow, it's uh -oh. down to three hit points. Oh, wow. Well, if nothing else, you guys can have chilled mountain lion steaks for dinner. You have to thaw them out, though. Too soon, yeah, too soon. Statue. Too soon. He becomes a statue, I thought. It's D&D. &D. He's fine until he hits zero. Holy shit, that hit that cat hard. Alright, this fucker's going down. Alright, was that like a surprise attack and now we're in rolling initiative? Yep, we're rolling initiative now. Okay. Oh, I gotta roll initiative four times or whatever. Okay, One. I can't. Okay. So that's me. Now I gotta do this Makudo. Where the hell's initiative? Where the hell is his sheet? That's what I want to know. You I ought to be able to hit. Initiative. Oh, there's initiative. It's just a die. So that's Makudo. And now I got to roll for Ruinar. But first, I've got to put Ruinar up there. This is not confusing at all. I want to Ruinar. Get some initiative. Let's get a high number, baby. Yeah, that's what I wanted. <clears throat> and did you get mine? Mine's not on there anymore. 
quick. I can roll for Theranos again. Check the token before you roll it. Yeah, apparently. 19. Perfect. Uh, 19. 19. 19. <laughs> Only Gen Xers will get it. I've got I've got a ring that says plus one on it. That's why it's twenty there. So why is not on the list though? Might have forgotten to double click. But the Eric can add it. Can you just yeah. add me? Yeah, you can oh, just right. I'm actually characters I, there. Sorry, I, you can I'm just right click it. Running on my screen right now. Even though I have a gaming laptop, it's running really slow. Okay. I think it's a mix of, like, Roll20 lately has been, like, they need to do a, a full revamp of a lot of stuff, because it's been running really slow for a long time now. So, who am I adding, and what's your number? Uh, Theranos, 20, and Ruinar, 14. Okay. Is that right? Uh, it's got me at a zero, but yeah, I'm there. Oh, uh, Makudo should be four, actually. And Makudo. I fixed Makudo. Makudo's four, Theranos is, tw is 20, and Ruinar is 14. Okay. Still say zero. What the hell? And, um, and, um, did you want me to run uh, Basil? Yeah, could you? Yeah. I got bumped off the, the site. I'm reloading. Okay. And what was your Theranos? I was 20. Okay. All right. Good. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. Except there's two Makudos, but other than that, it's great. That's okay. Yeah, we know there's only one Makudo. Just got to roll for the yeah, villain, I guess, now, right? Um, excuse me, guys who are breaking into some dude's house. Villains? Okay. <laughs> That's quite rude. We're we are not villains. We're the good guys. That yeah. also might be a stretch. We followed every possible law. We're completely good guys. Sometimes justice has to bend laws, but not Sometimes break them. Justice. But we don't attack people for no reason. Man behind man in his cushy apartment. <laughs> Sometimes justice got to put on his big boy pants. <laughs> Sometimes justice has to put on its Boy pants. All right, what character am I right now? So I'm gonna be Theranos first. So me. I'm sure I got that ready to go. Do Babar roll initiative? No, yeah, I should okay. be in there. Oh, well, had a fourteen. Yeah, no, yeah. You a twelve? You want me to change to fourteen? Oh, 12. I knew it was something low. Okay. Low's relative. By the time you're up, whenever you're ready. Okay. Almost ready. 
I'm ready. I'm not ready. I'm ready. Who are we waiting on? What are we doing? Why uh, first Mike up Manning. to attack? Just wait on me. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Take your time. All right. All right, then I'm going to be Runar. Runar's already got his stuff knocked, so he's ready to fire. Kudu's ready to pounce. I think I can do this. All right, good, good. Okay. Um, Baikon is going to rage, and then he's going to use his great axe on the uh, bad guy behind him. Mm -hmm. His plus two great axe. Okay, I clicked on it. Same dice. Let me try again. There we go. And does a 12 hit? Nope. All right. He's got another attack, so he'll use it. Does a 17 yes. hit? Yes. All right. Doing 18 damage, slashing. Okay. All right, and he's going to use his frenzy attack since he's raging to do it again. Uh, hold on a second. Does 15 hit? No. No? Okay. So, um, that's all I do for the moment. Did Basil show up on the initiative order? Yep. He's at the very bottom. All right. Well, we're from number seven. Yep. Out of the silent shadows, slowly I lift my hand, cast forward, and cast hold person. Oh my. At level three, whatever that means. Whatever that means. I think hold person is. Is it level two? It's a, the basis level two, two but I can do it to level three. Well, I think level yeah. three just involves an extra person. Yeah. So don't cast it a level... Unless you're targeting one of these extra things, which... No, I'm, I'm, I can only see the guy in front of me. I'm not out there yeah. with you guys. So yeah, so just I'll level two. Level, level two. Okay. Delay that three. Let's 
see here. Where's the save? Uh, what is the save? It's got to be a wisdom save. Or be paralyzed for the duration. What's it each heal? Is it? It's close enough, you may actually not be paralyzed. What? Yeah, really, he's got a huge bonus. Incapacitate. Spellcasters usually have a really a fairly good wisdom or intelligence. Yeah. So he's he's got a so what's your what's your let me see what he's right there. What's my what's my thing? Your DC, yeah. Oh, oh, wait. It's you, the base is twelve, but I'm wearing that ring. It gives it one more, so it's thirteen. Okay, so he rolled the fourteen. So he's actually saved. Okay. What's the What's the consequence if he passes the save? Is there just nothing happens? Nothing. Or is there? Okay. Nothing. So that's your action, Elvator. Smote your enemies, sir. Smote mm -hmm. them good. Oh, fear not. They will be smitten. I don't think we're saying the same word, sir. One involves death, the other involves the daisies. Well, it could involve both. It's just a progression. I don't think that word means what you think it means. Anyway, so I'm going to come up next to this dickhead. And I'm going to use my bonus action to hex him. There you go. To hex him? There you go. You are a hex girl. And then I shall. Eh. All right, character sheet. Okay. Um. Dueling. Text. And then. Um, I shall swing my sword of wounding twice upon him. Swingy, swingy. Swingy, swingy it is. Wow. Okay, 24 definitely hits. And what's your second one? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Yeah. So. Yeah. That was, that was so. Um. I'll do my non crit one first. So this one I've added. So this is my non crit damage. So that's 16. 16. Mm -hmm. And then my divine smite will be added on for my crit damage. So. <laughs> Holy shit. That was actually a terrible roll. Like. I rolled basically minimum damage on my on my smites oh. on my first smite, yeah. oh, and then like actually, like oh that was gonna, that was terrible. I, I I'm gonna I, I have to reveal some information here only because I, I want to make sure I'm reading correctly. Um, Hold on. If you have armor of invulnerability to a damage type. Yes. Do you just take no damage from that or half damage? Uh, if it's invulnerability, I believe it's none. Like, I know there's armor of resistance. Okay, so then your amazing strikes, um, the slashing damage does not affect him. Is he, he's immune to magic damage? No, he's immune to slashing damage. Oh, this is a magic weapon. Oh, so the this is, this is the sword of, this is the sword of wounding. So that doesn't, the slashing damage goes through then? Yep. Okay, cool. 
So that's 163547. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. And then I I'm going to use my I'm also going to use my crit. So the last thing I'm going to do, it's not an action, but I'm going to use my crit strike and I'm going to apply a wound with that strike. So, at the start of his turn, he'll take some extra damage. Okay. 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 That's, that's my turn. Alright. Uh, Runar's kind of outside. Runar and uh, Makuta are going to move on these other two over here. You see where I am now? Yeah. So there, keep so. in mind, there, there's yeah. This is the only one. For whatever reason, I can't get rid of this. The second I kind of won't leave. I don't know why. Okay. So just, just yeah. Focus on the one that's touching you, Vicon. And if you walk away, then there's one that's got his, 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 your back to it. So he'll get an opportunity to attack if he wants it on your back. Wait, there's one on my yeah. back. Wait a minute. Where? Yeah, right here. There's the one next to Basil. That... Yeah. Oh, that one. Okay. Then I guess I'm attacking yeah. him then. Screw it. Okay. All right. I got to find this sword that they were talking you about actually be, before. Be right there then. I think it's called Maka Huitil. Yeah. Did you write that thing down? Oh, it, the Maka It's Kahuli. a plus one sword. It's called a plus one sword. It's, okay. Uh, uh, no, doesn't he get not. one or two hits with that thing? Anybody know if he has two hits? He has a two hits. Yeah, For Ruinar? Runa. Yeah, he should Ooh. have extra attack. He, as a ranger at level five, he should have got an extra attack. Okay, so I'm gonna do the Makuto, uh, whatever, on that guy nearest me. Oh, twenty-eight. Oh, written all over the place. Oh, nice. That's the first one. I got, I got another one, right? <laughs> yep. Roll the damage though. Yeah. You might kill him. Yeah, that's not too bad. Thirteen. Okay. Still there. <laughs> Twenty-one hit. Yep. Eight. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. And you're kidding? And Runar. That was Runar. That was uh, Runar. Dabar. My. The oh. friend of Horton was me to who? Because that's a bar. So we're not worrying about these other guys outside? They haven't. They haven't done anything yet? Well, they're all on the same initiative. Their, their action was to become visible in front of you guys. Mm. Basically, to get in place. Uh, that bar is going to run to here and make. Uh, so wait, are you, are you gonna, how are you going to get past the guy? Well, I'm, I'm going to go to here, go to here, go to here, go to here. Uh, are you going to jump over him? No. He's a halfling. You could. I'm just going to squeeze through. Right there. Squeeze through the space between him and, or either go behind Elvator. Okay. You're flanking. Yep. So that's advantage. And I will use an unarmed strike, so I should get three unarmed strikes. Miss, hit, hit, and I will use a stunning strike oh, actually, on the hold on, hold on. If you advantage, wouldn't all three of those hit? Probably. Um, okay. Yes. So I will use Stunning Strike on the last one. Mm -hmm. So that would... I don't get the charger feet for any of this. So let me unclick that. And then that. And then that. Um, so 12, 11. And then he has to... Hold on. We're stunning strike at. 
Gotta find it. The stunning strike, and he's got two. Succeed on the Constitution saving throw will be stunned at the end of your next turn. So, what is the saving throw, though? Anybody know? The saving throw uh, <clears throat> against uh, Stunning Strike? Yeah. I believe it is Con. Yeah, but what is it against? Uh, your spell save DC, which is your. Um. Well, no, but you have like a key save. Which is eight plus your proficiency bonus plus your uh, wisdom modifier, I believe. 11. 14. He's got two rolls of 14. One second, I'm actually just checking one thing. Okay. Two rolls uh, for 14, you said, right? Yep. Uh, no, he does not make it. So is he. What's the effect? Thanks, hey, Eric. Uh, let me next next turn. He's paralyzed. Okay, what is the effect of stunned? Is he unable to act at all, or...? He's gonna take actions or reactions, and any attack that hits him during the period of time when he is paralyzed is an instant critical. Okay, and he's at 30 points of damage. Is the, you said the charge doesn't count? What do you mean the charge doesn't count? You said that, you, did you say that? I'm asking. Did you say the charge damage doesn't count? No, the charge. No, okay. no, the charge damage does not count. Okay. Okay. So that's your action. Yep. Okay. He is stunned right now, so it's gonna go to the other two. Um, I'm gonna roll this one first. Well, uh, he should be able to. Him. Stunning strike. I believe stunning strike. You can try and. Like roll at the start of your t at the end of your turn, mm -hmm. or it might be just for one round. I forget exactly what it is. Say that again, now. I'm just looking up the what it says for stunning strike. Whether it's because I know hold person is for a minute, but you could like perform the the save at like the end of the turn. He's paralyzed until his next turn. Just until his next turn? Okay. So, Vicon, you've got two attacks coming at you? Yeah. Okay. With a sword. Okay. okay. A 10 and 10. That's a that. 17 and a 13. Do either one of them penetrate? Um, no. Will an intelligence check. Since this is an item you're looking for, I'll grant that you recognize this. You recognize that this is a soul-devouring sword, and you are currently looking for this sword, and it just bounced off your armor twice. Okay. okay. Was this one of the items okay. we were trying to find? Yes, that's why I give you advantage on it. Okay. okay. Next attack is on Basil. For 25 and a 17, what is Basil's um, uh, AC? Basil's AC? One moment, let me pull up his character. Seventeen. So, one hit. So, Basil takes... Uh, fourteen points of damage. And the other guy, it's his turn. He gets that back. Okay. Okay. That is their action. It's the one third guy is stunned. Basil. Basil is going to do uh, shatter on this guy. So he has to do a saving throw. Of... Would you like me to just throw up the spell description for you? 17. Really rolled board bonuses. Okay, that's...
that probably says. So is, is there half damage or? I'm checking now. Hold on a second. Hold on. Why is it whenever I pull Basil up, I have all the problems? It locks on my screen. Every time with this guy. Knowing dead British actors. Okay. Oh, with you guys. Oh, and I'm sorry, uh, Matt, the guy in front of you did okay, something sorry. weird with the sword before he attacked you. It didn't affect you, but he did something weird. Okay. He gets um, 3d8 in, in, in half. Okay. Let me do that. Roll it. All right. So eight, eight points of damage. And Ruinar has to make a saving throw too. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, it affects. He's in range of that. What's the range on it? It's 10 feet. Okay. Ruinar has to make a saving throw. Against what? The con saving throw. Uh, against the shatter spell. Um, okay, hold on. Kill him. Kill your own team member. Slay him. You can gain his ratty ranger cloak. His ratty rangers. Uh oh. Oh, 16 points of damage for Ruina. All his beef jerky will soon be yours. Wow, that's not cool, dude. That's not cool. <laughs> like, uncool. I thought it was pretty cool. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, I forgot to <laughs> forgot to say this. Is the Hobbit's name? Is that the Cusif? Yes. Oh, okay, I was confused. Uh, at the start of his turn, I know he's already like paralyzed, but uh, he takes two d four damage from me. You roll it. Okay. And then he'll need to do a con save. Versus what? Uh, versus my it. my wounding. Unless it's, which is your wounding less than a nine or less than a ten? Is my wounding less than a ten? No. Yeah, he failed it. Okay, so he is still wounded. So he takes four damage, mm -hmm. and then continue. Okay. So that was Basil, right? And we have. So Makudo is next. Okay, I looked up stunning strike, and it says that um, that the target is stunned until the end of your next turn. Yep. So the, at the, until the end of Abar's turn. Yep. So, yeah, if he gets hit. Okay. Makuto, feeling the specter of death upon her heart. 
steps forward, growls, and goes after the nearest dude with a double claw attack. Probably the one doing no damage. Yeah, I know. That's no damage. Which where did which way did Makuto go? Move her where she needs to be. Uh, the nearest the, the nearest guy that was attacking is the guy that's right next to Ruinar, because obviously that's her companion. Okay, she's like there. So, okay, so she's here. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so that is the turn. Actually, she would have oh. advantage because she's they're flanking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Roll damage. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, so shit. I don't know what the damage is for that. One moment. The claw hit the crit. Yeah. Yeah, the claw. 1d4 plus 3. What the fudge? This is, uh, there. So it's, uh. Is that right? 12? Yeah, that's right. Okay. For the crit one, yeah. That's exactly right. How'd you know that? I rolled it. I just clicked oh. it. Goddamn. Vicon, you're up. Okay. Um, he is going to try to uh, do a disarm attack against the guy with the sword. Mm -hmm. So he's going to, um, you know, try to hit his wrist or whatever. Uh, so let me still try to hit. Does 15 hit? Do you have a superiority die? Uh, no. Okay. I'm not a fighter, I'm a bugger. There's probably feral rabbits in this area. No. <laughs> I would like what? to see a feral rabbit, that'd be fun. <laughs> Okay, uh, no. Okay, let me try on the second attack. It's actually saying you need to use a suit. I'm trying to find out how this army works in D&D. &D. Mm. Um, <sighs> okay, yeah, okay, roll it. I Roll your second attack. I see the rules now. Nope. Okay. Right, and my final frenzy attack. Wait, is a frenzied attack something that you can do a controlled design strike with? It doesn't say is that it? you can't. So, and I missed. Okay, because I know it's an optional rule. So I'm gonna make the ruling right now that if you're doing something like a frenzied attack, you don't have targeting yes. control on where that's going. Because that's like, oh. okay. So you're not like I'm. I'm hitting you in the left wrist and. Caressing your left testicle. Okay. So like, then uh, but either way, attacks are fine. I yeah, miss. it doesn't matter either way. Yeah. Okay, so that's Vicon Theranos. You chill little half demon, you. Yeah. How's your horny horse going? Uh, Ooh, boop, 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 boop. It's a good try though, because that sword will fuck you up if it hits you. Right. Okay. I'm sure you get, when you guys get this sword, I'm sure you're totally going to be willing to give it back to the people who own it, too. Huh. All right. I'm going to see or sense that Makuto's hurt. I'm going to move back out from the room to try to cure wounds on Makuta. Okay. No one's going to hit you because no one can, so go for it. Wait. Damn it. It's all... I can't move me. I'm going to move sort of over here and cast cure wounds. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, there you are. I'm Lord? on the right thing. It's just that I'm not having trouble hitting the actual spell, so... Okay. And let's do a level two. Let's 
So that uh, heals seven for points. Seven points back to the kitty. Okay. <laughs> she rolls over on her belly. No, someone's not getting fish in his mood tonight. <laughs> okay. And that ends my turn. Oh, my door. Okay, well, this is not going to go well for that hobbit. How is this? How is this hobbit looking aside from being paralyzed? Pissed off. This like, but like, Very is is he like heavily bleeding, or is he just kind of have some minor scratches? He's bleeding. I mean, it's it's clearly battle has taken its toll. You guys have done it. You guys have done a number on him. Okay. He's still standing. Okay. Well, he is a uh, he is a what the hell is it? Elton John song right now. Yeah, I'm still but, standing. The half naked guys from the beach in the 80s, and my godmother telling me he's definitely straight. There's no way he's gay. While I was watching that video. Sure. Okay, well, I'm gonna use my bonus action to curse him with my Hexblade's curse. Curse you. So... I, I really think we should make you say, like, something. <laughs> I, I think so, too. Okay. You now will have lime green poop. You will now have lime green poop. <laughs> you no, will now no. have lime green poop. No, my my curses are more like none have escaped my curse or my hex. Your soul belongs to a Shardalon now. <laughs> you will serve like him now and forever. Oh, that sounds like Elvator entirely. Yeah. <laughs> Now All right. The real Elvator. That sounds like something a perfectly sane person would say. Exactly. So I'm now going to swing Elvator twice, and if I hit him, then both of them are now crits. <laughs> nice. Finish him off. Do you you know you have advantage, do you? Um. Yeah. Well, he's, he's paralyzed. paralyzed. He's paralyzed, so I have advantage. Oh, okay. Because he can't okay. move, so I twenty and a seventeen. So what? Yep. And none of these so... are gonna be. I'm gonna probably. Oh wait, you know what? The seventeen does not hit. The seventeen the does 20, not. I, 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 I because they don't they didn't give me the actual sheet for him, so the seventeen does not hit. Because I realize he's not wearing chainmail; he's wearing something better. Okay. So, cool. but the twenty does hit. All right. Well, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna add. Yeah, I will. I'm going to. Yeah, I, I, actually, nice you know what? With, with hold on, let me see. Let me check his armory. That may not have hit either, because I think he's got plate on. Yeah, but it's a twenty. Yeah. But it's plate. plate. It's not a nat twenty. No. No. But a plate is eight. Plate armor is eighteen. Oh, is it? Yep. Okay. So then his AC is eighteen. Okay. okay. All right. So. Interesting for a magician, but sure. So this is... I'm going to swing, but I'm going to roll some more numbers because my damage is increased because it is a crit. Okay, come on. Roll my damage. Goodness, this is slow. Roll my damage, damn you. Okay. What are you to me? So... Okay, so 28 base damage before crit. And then he takes another... Um, uh, he takes another 1d6. And another 2d8. And another d8. Yeah. Yay. I love math. Yes, you should have done that. 44 points total? I believe so, yes, from that one attack. Okay. And I you apply, I use, I apply another wound to him. If he's Can't not dead. What about your he's dueling not. smite? No, that was including smite. Okay. So the acid yeah. dueling style is 2d8 yeah. divine smite plus fighting style plus my cursed target boost, plus my 1d6 for hex, 
And then my 1d6 hex's boost is doubled. My 2d8 smite is doubled. And then my 1d8 sword slash is doubled. So, that is... Unfortunately, I only hit him once. <laughs> How much damage was that He's one still standing. Hit? He looks like shit, though. But he's still standing. Wow, this guy is a beast. If he's still standing. He is. Like, that I is... Definitely I definitely upped him, I by a... the way. They, they didn't give me the sheet. I used the base stats for the other two, but I upped him a little bit. What? That's fine. I upped him a little bit. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I get it. next... Oh. Sorry. Yep. It, oh, so it's, it's Ruinar. Ru Ruinar's up. Ruinar's up. Yeah. We're gonna do same like last time on Downey outside. With the, uh, what do you think you call it? Oh, sorry. I gotta click on the freaking character. Sorry. God dang it. Click on the character. Go to his sheet. Go to his sheet. Press his testicles. Yes, his testicles. Say my mother's name. That's a plus Wait, one right no. there. Oh, a threshold. Oh, nope, nope. Well, actually, no. You've got advantage. Right, because it's flanked. He's, he's surrounded. Yep. So, so 21 hit. The second one hit. hit. Yeah. That's uh, 12. 12 points of damage. I would call that emotional damage. <laughs> Emotional damage. Oh, yeah. I just watched Uncle Roger raiding Rachel Ray's making of Filipino adobo today. No. It was. It was. It, it hurt me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why she hates food so much? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the bar. Back to the uh, bar. Uh, the bar will move to the side here, and I... Uh, he's still stunned, right? Yeah, until until his turn. Do a suplex. Next. I'm just gonna try to grab him. Here's my... mm -hmm. Grapple! Yeah, I'm gonna try to grapple him. There you go. Roll, I mean, he's stunned, so. Don't yep, roll a one, that would be hilarious. Success. No, he's he's gotta, I mean, he could could he could still fail. Yeah. He could fall for the old banana in the tailpipe. Yeah, he can. He can still find it. He can still find some loose rocks. He can roll on that one. He can but fail. I rolled a 12 athletics. He's got yeah. to beat it. Yes, and is he able to make a save in his but condition? It, he's, he's unstunned now. Oh, because yeah, he's on so turn. Yeah, okay. because it's the end of my turn. Yep. Okay. And that save is athletics based or? It'd be strength for him. Okay. So. I'll show off that. Uh, well, he's a 19, so pretty strong. But a 6 is not going to beat your 12. So I have him uh, grappled. Mm -hmm. All right. Interrogate. Torture. He's starting to chant. Why? Why? Don't touch me. I'll give you my heart. Let me leave. I'll give you the secret to I leave. It's, it's, it's dried in the South Carolina sun. <laughs> okay. So you, you, you're holding him down? Well, I just, I've got him in like a... a... In like a wrestling grapple. Yeah. Arm lock? Okay. No, uh, like a full Nelson. Oh, yeah, full Nelson? Awesome. Have him tell, him to, tell him to order these guys to drop their weapons. Uh, I don't know if I can do that on my turn, but yes, I will. If I can, I will tell him to cease and desist or I'll break your neck. Yeah, so you've got him locked in, a, in this hold right now, right? That's yep. your action? Okay. Yep. So you're done. Yep. yep. Time for his their action. Okay. I'm gonna At start the start of it. Back. Wait. Start of his turn. Uh huh. Wounds. He takes all three of his wounds. Okay. Roll. So 
So he takes nine damage okay. from the wounds. Um, plus and then he 10. has a, and then he rolls a con save. Plus ten, so that so he's at one, two, one, plus three. No, what happens if he fails a con save? Uh, then he's still wounded. Mm. Okay. What is he doing, basically? Bleeding out or something? Uh, yeah. So, um, what's he gotta be? Is he, he has 16. Uh, 16. If he has to pass 15, so he passes. Okay, so okay. he's no longer wounded okay. for next turn. He is actually, and he's still conscious. Okay. And, um, Babar, roll a save for, roll an intelligence check for me. Uh, that's not gonna go well. <laughs> that's not gonna go well. Never know. <laughs> Never can tell. You huh? realize some of his wounds are healing. Uh, nope, they can't. Oh. Yes, they can. No, they cannot. It's that an innate is... ability. Hmm? It's an innate ability. Doesn't matter. A sort of wounding prevents it. I'll Wait. read you... I'll read you the description so, yeah, of the sword of wounding. The sword of wounding. It's like the best yeah. part about the sword of wounding is that, like, I guess it's you could heal other other players' damage. It just depends yeah. how much damage other players have inflicted. I mean. You're not the only one who's damaging him, so... That's true. Healing. Okay. So, so uh, I guess how I'm much damage have I... I have done about 90 damage to him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. He's taking about 131. Okay, so he can... 141. Sorry. Yeah, so he can heal up to 40 damage. Okay. So, uh, we'll start with Vicon. Alright. Vicon continues raging. One... No, no, no. You're being attacked. You're being attacked. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> okay. Oh, a two. Back in the pension. What's your AC? 17. Okay. Whoa. So you definitely take one wound. From Black Razor. Okay. So that's going to be... Oh, hold on. I'm wrong. Uh, 17. Where are your dice? Yeah, rolls? I'll pour this out. They're right there in there. Okay, only one of them goes through. Maybe we'll update in a minute. Okay. Are you guys? Um, should be. They're under Basil's name. Okay, so that damage is going to be. Now, um, sentience, yeah, soul hunter, yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, this is annoying. It doesn't tell me the damage the stupid sword does. Let me try opening another one. Ivy. Oh wait, you know what? It's in the DM's guide. Give me a second. Make things easy in D and D. Forty years will fill up badly laid out books. Hold on one second. Do you know how off the top of that off the top of that, how much damage a great sword does? A great sword would do two d six. Two d eight. Two d six. Two d six. Yeah. Okay. It's wielded by a giant. Does that affect it? Um, if it's wielded by a giant, usually, if they're large, then they oh, yeah, should large. be dealing an extra 1d6. 
Okay. I'm just going off of, like, the stats for, like, brute fight. Okay. So that's 8 points of damage. Oh, plus 3, so it's actually 11 points of damage. And then... For effects... Okay, so you take 11 points of damage. Uh, that's magic. Legendary, yeah, Black Star Mountain. Okay, you said 11? It's a weird sword, yeah. Okay, well, I take half damage because I'm raging, so okay. just six. Okay. And it... Okay. All right. Did so, I uh, suffer any kind of magical effect? You said it was some kind no, of... No, it's only until... You, once, you, uh, once you go to zero, then it, it'll mess you up. Um, pretty much, yeah. But it does it right through. Never mind where it does it through, but um, you enjoy it for a minute. Okay. There's no death kiss, though. Sorry. Um, I'm going to go after... Since you guys enjoyed hitting him, I'm going to go after Ruinar. Since, he's, like, since the other one has realized that Basil's on his side. What's Ruinar's AC? One moment. It's got to be above I'm 12, right? 16. Yeah, okay, he's fine. Uh, nothing happens. Yeah. And this is just, my rolls are terrible tonight. Man. One D five. Okay, who's up? Uh Basil. Who's playing Basil? Matt. What? Who's playing Basil? Basil? Oh, I'm sorry. All right, Basil is going Fire to... Fireball. 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 So close, he's going to just do burning Why hands. Why are you drinking my soda? Please. All right. Okay. Do they have to do a saving throw, or do I have to roll a hit on that? Um, I don't know. Off the top of my head. And I, for whatever reason, if I try to open Basil's sheet, it like locks up my screen. I've tried three okay, times. That'll, that'll get everybody in the damage, so... Perfect. I don't want to do that. Instead, he's just going to magic missile the guy. Okay. You're doing level one? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, roll your damage. I don't think there's a save for magic missile, right? No. Alright. Well, not as far as I know. I don't think so. Yeah. I think they just hit. Yeah. So, minus 10. Okay, excuse me. And Makuto, you're up. Well, hold on. Does he? Does, what did he have in his ring of spell story? Uh, it's written on a sheet. Okay. Because he can um, do that as a bonus action. Uh, go under. I just under core bio. Okay. Core Let's bio. See. Yeah, Vampiric Touch and Fly. Okay, he's going to use Vampiric Touch on him then. Okay. Holy shit. Put that one up there, please. You and I don't remember that. I've never, I've never used it. You don't have to click on what, the, what that means, right? Yeah. So Basil's a vampire too now, right? No. 
<laughs> Bill save DC 15. And whatever I take off of him, I can use to heal myself. Is it full or half? I don't remember. If he saves? And check it. Yeah. Yeah, it's half. Whatever it is, it's half. Yeah, it's half. Um, so roll your 3d6. Okay. Bill saves a 15. He saves. So he takes six points of damage. Yeah. And you can regain three. I only get half of that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Part of the reason I got it is Basil gets the shipping out of every battle. Yeah. Okay. Well, three points are still three points. Yep. That's and, why I got the spell, actually. All right. Well, that's his turn. Okay. All right. Makuto's in the house. Let's see. Um, I think I get two claws and a bite, actually. Somebody tell me I'm wrong. Can Makuto wrong. grapple? What? Can no. Makuto grapple? Grapple? Can Makuto yeah. grapple? Yeah, I get a bite and two claws, so. Because I'm thinking if, if the creature is grappled, it won't be able to do its attack and its turn. If it can't Yeah, but it. it's hard to tell a mountain lion what to do, especially when they've been wounded. He's like doing the you know animal version of raging right now. Okay. That one of those claws definitely hit. Uh, two of them one hit. One advantage: the the bite and the claw should hit. Yeah. Yeah, two of them hit. Awesome. How you get damage on those things? Look um, out here. Uh. The claw hit and the bite hit. So the claw did seven, and the bite did seven. Awesome. Top of the order. Okay. And bite count. All right. Um... If I don't use my frenzy attack, I just use my extra attack. Can I do the disarms? Yeah. Okay. Um, so he's going to try to disarm this guy again. Is that a strength thing? Yeah. Basically, a creature can use it. Well, hell yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a hit. So. You post how it works in the chat. Please. Okay. So uh, your attack rolls a twenty-three. Yep. Is plus two, so seventeen. Oh wait, no, sorry. Strength plus four, so that makes it a nineteen. So you're doing. Okay, um, yeah, he's holding it up. So you have disadvantage because he's holding it with the great sword, right? With two hands. Um, so 17 versus 19. Actually, seventeen. If they don't, if they don't have the skill, you just go by the base stat, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. Yes. So his strength is nineteen, so he's plus four. So that's he rolled a. So he plus four plus fifteen is nineteen. Then you have disadvantage because he's using two hands, two hands to hold the weapon. So. And then, has a larger than the attacking creature or disadvantage if it's smaller. So you're smaller and he's holding it two-handed. So that's um, 
they're both disadvantaged, so I'm going to say it doesn't go through. Still holding it? Good. Yeah, 17 versus 19, so he held on to it. Close, but no cigar. It's the disadvantage of the Jiren. I like this rule, though. I'm trying to actually understand how superiority dice work now. Can your next attack? I use my extra attack. Do the same? Uh, no. I'm just going for damage. Okay. okay. I should have. but uh, You really should have, yeah. That would have been sweet. Because he, he wouldn't have been able to, unless you rolled an at 20, you wouldn't have been able to beat that. Okay. Uh, roll your damage. 18. Okay. Theranos. Awesome. So, uh, my understanding is I'm attuned to two different staffs. I carry three, but I only can be attuned to two. Does that sound fair? I thought you'd be attuned to three items at once. What's that? I thought you'd be attuned to three items at once. Is that not correct? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm level eight, so I might be able to get three. But anyhow, I'm going to whip out my... Uh, Big staff of healing and cast your mass wounds on all the people outside here that are hurt. Okay, can you drop that spell so I can see how it affects yeah, people? Yeah, baby, baby, baby. Is you it, know that's the thing I'm gonna do. You know me. I just want to make sure spell, it's targeted. I spelled it wrong. But you know everybody. I spelled it wrong, but it's, right. it's from the staff. Yeah. I think if you're shiring wounds, that's a little different. It's and that involves things that HR character. doesn't want to talk to you about. It's a so my spellcasting ability modifier is plus two. Let me get this going here. So I got a okay. Three so tell me the six creatures you are choosing. Oh, myself, Makudo, Ruinar, Vicon, and I think it's all people who are hurt right now. Okay. Those four people. Basil's hurt. Is Basil hurt? Basil's hurt too. I can't yeah. see it. I don't see any numbers. So yeah, Basil too. Then that's within thirty roll feet, it, so roll, I should be good. Roll your yeah. Be I got roll three d eight. Hold 3 on. 8, yeah. Plus yeah, two. You're, you're good. So that's eighteen to everybody. Okay. Okay. You guys, update your uh, your healing accordingly, and then Elvator. All right, so Makuta was back to full. I love that. Sabar spell. is holding this poor, defenseless halfling, full Nelson. He's crying and screaming. Yep. Did he pee himself? Did he pee himself? Because I want to know. There's so much blood, it's hard to tell. Could have. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I could have. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so... Remember... We are the IT squad tonight. Interrogate, torture. Well, I think it's 27 hits. And actually, hold on. 27. Is 27 what I think it is? It's a crit! Yes! Ah oh. He is almost definitely dead. Roll yeah. damage. So, <laughs> I mean, there's advantage... At this point, I should probably make you roll to see if you actually shish kebab babar. <laughs> yeah. There's not enough left in this guy to hold the... Roll your damage. I'm... Come on, open up my character sheet. Stupid. That 20 is just so slow. It is. It's painful. Like, I cannot open anything. Oh my gosh. I can't even open my character. There we go. I finally closed my character sheet so I could open up again. Because it wouldn't. 
unminimized. Back to full. Awesome. So I'm gonna add one last divine smite. This this adventure is while it's time consuming is so far beneath you guys, it's ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> You're basically fighting one guy, three versions of him, and one of them is really freaking butch. Okay, so that's the non... That's before the crit he's, bonus. Okay, he's, he's dead. Surprised. He's dead already? He's dead. Okay, yeah. no point. He was down Did to, he... like, nine. Oh, okay. Well, he's down to... What, wait, he's got crit bonus coming? Then he yeah. had ten left. And I'm not even gonna... And so, that was what's the... What's the body look like? Is it like his face crushed? He's like uh, losing blood everywhere. It's, it's so. Here's an interesting thing, Babar. I need you to roll a twenty for or twenty uh, a, a dex check for me. A dex check. Yeah. He's saying that my sort of wounding. Okay. Wound. He's running so through you, right now. So. No, you jump you, as you're holding the body and it, it slumps down. It suddenly gets huge. And you managed to dodge out of the way, and that's going to be your turn. Because it's uh, also an Oni. It's an Oni. Okay. Wait, undead ghost spirit? He's a demon. Uh, it's a demon. Oh, Christ. Yeah, that's what you're fighting. That's great. Yay. Okay, so the one that yeah. I attacked is now a giant. He's dead. Oh, he's, he's, he's dead. Yeah. Okay. So he's, he's a dead giant. Well, his, 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 his polymorph ability when he dies is gone. Okay, well, typically a polymorph will have a separate set of hit points. This said he just didn't. I mean, the, no. yeah, yeah. DM says he's dead. <laughs> DM says he's dead. It's just, it's just, it's just the same in each, it specifically says it's stats in the same in each form. Okay, alright. And so, it's actually, it's, it's Glaive actually transformed with it. Okay. There's different damage for it. Okay. Okay, so, well, I'm not, um, I'm not done yet. Um, so, I'm gonna hmm. go up next to Vicon. With my movement. Because I'm assuming the one next to Vicon is still okay. Fine. He's yeah. Still alive. Yep. And so I shall swing my sword of wounding at him, and I'll I'll use my bonus action to How change. How you move? Thirty feet. Okay. It came out I to exactly pretty. How... Yeah. So it's right at the edge, right there. And no more smite. No more cursed target, but I use my bonus action to transmit the hex over to him. So, shalaka. Crit. <laughs> no! Well, I mean, that's funny. Why not? Let's add another smite. Man, we're knocking numbers out of fools tonight. I have never had a, a game <laughs> in which I have... Like, had a smite in every single one of my turns. Oh my god. So. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. So, yeah, that's 18, 26, 27 damage to him. Mm -hmm. And that was. Like, I have. I've been. It's funny because my attack rolls are all like crits, but my damage rolls are all like minimum damage. <laughs> There's a lot of ones showing up in your roll. I know. I'll be like, like I crit. Like, like you know, I even roll a one. So, okay, whatever. I still deal 27 damage. Damn. Okay. For my second crit this turn. <laughs> Holy mm, Christmas. And I apply a wound to him. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. Runer. Whoa, okay. That guy's still in front of Ruinar, right? Yeah. Alright, same attack. Let me, let me click on his character. Sorry. He's freaking dice out of the way. Okay. Same attack, same guy. And... 
Come on, Makahootly. <laughs> oh! Shabalama ding dong! I think those hit. I yeah. So. <laughs> I would think so. What a chance to get a 7 and a 4 and a 7 and a 4. That's 22, y'all. Okay. Let me click on the animal. Damn. And then... Sabar. Yes. Yep. All right. Let's see. And Babar will make its way to here. Uh -huh. Since I ran 10 feet, you're I on will... top of Icon. What? At... No, I'm not. You're, you're in... Here. Uh, I don't see Vicon. Okay, well, I'll go here. Okay. But can okay. I go here? Because that shows. Yeah. yeah. And then. 12, 8, and shit, I didn't do my. 19, 20, 21 damage. Uh, yeah. first one doesn't hit. 18 doesn't hit? Not for him, it doesn't. Okay, so... That guy hasn't figured it out yet, but it's not, it's, it's not affecting him. 19 damage, but I do get a charger, so let me roll my charger. Okay. So when I think... Charge. I'll just roll it again and just take... So five, oh, it's just yep. five. Yep, it's just what, five. 20, 24? Okay. Not good. Uh. Okay. And this guy's the guy uh, is facing ba uh, Basil and the rest of you. Yeah, they're all both basically screwed. Um, I, I I have a GMing question, and I, I'm going to make sure if you have an at will innate spellcasting ability, yeah. and you have two attacks, okay. you can mm -hmm. cast one of those. So it's like a, a cantrip, and then do something else. Correct. Uh, at will means you don't have to spend a spell slot. You still have to spend an action doing right. it. Right, so it's the one action. Yes. And you, and then you can do something with your second action, correct? No. No, you're done. You're done. A spell is both... Well, takes both actions? Yeah. At will spells okay. are usually... Uh, some, some, usually they're related to stuff like... Uh, movement or like minor area of effects. They're usually not yeah, like, exactly they're usually difference. not spells that you use in combat too much. Okay. So this area with the blue circle is now encased in darkness. Oh, I got dark vision. No problem. It doesn't work on this one. Specifically, yeah. it doesn't darkness work on this one. Darkness is... Darkness, the spell is... Where's the blue circle? Sorry? I don't uh, see the blue Right circle. over the guy facing Vicon. Okay. All right. Oh, that blue circle. Okay. Yeah. And then... And everyone else in that circle and... is effectively blinded? Effectively blinded, yeah. Oh, sorry. Start of his... And he was the one who cast that spell? Nope. The other guy did it. But it's his It's his turn, I'm guessing? It, it's their turn. They're on the same turn. 
Okay, so... I'll roll for their... Their wounds. Open up my character sheet, you bastard. Uh-huh. What? Oh crap, no. That rolled wrong. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna roll 2d4. This roll is it. Applies a smite to my wounds, which is not the way that works. So How long take... does that keep happening? Uh, he, at the start of his turn, he has to do a con save. Oh, okay, so he had a con save then. So he made that con save, because that would be. So then, as soon as he takes that damage, then mm -hmm. the then the wound disappears. Okay. But yeah, if they fail, okay. then it's it stacks. Okay. So then, you guys hear hear him say something, but you don't know what it is. Yep. And that's their turn. Okay. Okay. Who's up? Uh, Basil. All right. Um, is that one in next to him still alive there? The one what? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He's still he's still trucking. Okay. Um, you saw him cast a spell, but you don't know what it was. Well, you assume you don't know. It. He's gonna try to put him to sleep. Okay. Left. 11 28. Let's do some math here. Uh, so, yes. Well, it's 16 plus 28 because I did it. I cast it at oh. a higher level. What level did you cast it at? I cast it at third level. And you're marking off all the spells, right? And uh, better yeah, touch uh, off the ring? Okay. I am. I am. Um, so that's uh, 30, 44? 78, 58. Yes. He did have So, it, yeah. He, I mean, I'll tell you, he's got a uh, twelve more than what you needed. All right. <sighs> well, that's so is that a, how? I don't remember. How does that affect, affect him? If, it, if he did, if he doesn't hit that number. If it didn't work, it didn't work. That's all. It just. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Next is Lapudo. I think that's going to be a bite, claw, claw on the guy you can see. Oh, uh, one penetrates. The bite penetrates. Okay. Fourteen. Okay. And then that puts us back up to Vicon. All right. All right. Vicon. Still raging. Mm -hmm. Can we see the guy? You guys cannot see anything in that black circle. Or the blue circle. So basically, I'm just at disadvantage to hit. Um, you don't know where he is, so you can try taking swings and see what happens. Look, I'm just asking what the mechanical effect is on that. Okay. Uh, the mechanical dice. effect is that uh, for radius, thanks for that Dark vision. We are effectively that, blinded, so. We have yeah, disadvantage, and he has advantage. 
as long as he can see through it. Yes. Okay, well, since you have advantage for the flank, does that mean it's normal then? No, because the flank doesn't take effect if we are all blind. Okay. Does... I have a sunblade. If I activate that in Magical Darkness, does that negate the Magical Darkness? No. Oh, wait, I believe that it would, actually. Wait, what's a sunblade? Because it, it says it says that you say it oh, says non magical, magical light, light can't can eliminate it, yeah. so the sunblade would technically yeah, be able to eliminate light. it. Alright, then I'm going to activate the sunblade. What level is the sunblade? Uh is the sunblade is not a it's not a magical spell. It's just an action it's what is it, a bonus action of the sunblade? It's a magic weapon. But does it right, it takes it, like it, a does it take an action or a bonus action to eliminate it? Um, no. It's just... Oh, it's, it's just a na it naturally gives off light? It gives off sunlight. Magical sunlight. Okay. And that's a permanent effect of having the sun blade ignited? Right. That's why it's really, it's really great against vampires. True. That's why you get it in Strahd. I'm just wondering, is is, is it going to um, negate the match of the darkness effect? Uh, it actually... See, it says anything above level 2 for light will negate it. Well, That's why I'm wondering like what level is, it is. Well, but it's... The Sunblade is a, it's a rare magic item. Okay, so yeah, it negates it. So that's going to be your actions to activate? Um, well, no, I'm also going to attack with it. Okay. So you're going to attack blind with it? No. No. It, does, no. it doesn't require an action. Oh, it doesn't require an action? No. Okay. So you take a swing in and you don't hit anything. Like, you can, you can use an action to, um, well, to increase the there? range. Uh, as you swipe through it, no, there's nothing there. Okay. It's gone. Alright. Um. Well, I say he's gone. Does anyone see him anywhere else? He may have turned invisible. Be on your guard. Anyone want to roll? See if they spot him? Yeah. Is that a perception? Yeah. Elvator is not going to be the one to do... Wait! Nat 20. Are they... Okay, we've Wait, seen these things. 20. Are these things... Are these things undead in any way? Nope. Okay. They're just kind of giants that are weird looking? They're, They're demons. demons. Oh! Well then, I will cast. I will use my action to, and I will cast. Oh, is it divine sense? If he's a demon, then I know his exact location. Okay. His exact location is between Babar's legs. <laughs> he's underneath Babar's legs. No. Or he's, he's lying. He's legs. lying down in between Babar's legs. Mm, you'd have to. Vicon has seen it. There's, there's a, there's an amorphous, gaseous blob floating between Babar's legs. All right. Well, I tell okay. everybody. Okay. Is it? It's amorphous, gaseous. Okay. So. Gas. It is gas. It looks like Babar wet himself with gaseous pee. I see. Okay. Are we still in turn order? Yeah. Combat okay. hasn't ended. Okay. So... The Vicon's done, though. I mean, he took a swing, he, he found him, that's Vicon's turn. Okay, so... so Theranos, Theranos then. turn next. And... I'm gonna say you guys used up your turn, at least you two. 
looking for him. Yeah. I don't. I think I'm fine Bar with that. Was joint. I'm fine with me using my turn to yeah. to find him with my divine sense, and I'll just kind of point him out that he is. Yeah, it's, he's currently floating between a weird gaseous dong on the very edge of that 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 fifteen foot circle. Um, so that was the Theranos next, and then and then Dabar. Okay. So, the guy that was next to Basil is gone, is dead, or not? No, he's still, sta- uh, he's still standing there. Great. Okay. Person. Uh. I want to hit him with something, but all my spells have this range that can hurt everybody else. Uh-huh. That's why Basil is Fireball. He doesn't care anymore. Uh-huh. Wait till I play Basil again. Can I dispel magic on the uh, darkness? Uh, yeah. Then I'm going to try to do that. Okay, cast. It, I found my sunblade dispelled. Oh, shoot. Yeah, level... I mean, it hasn't sludge? perfectly dispelled it, but yeah. It's level three. Okay, uh... What, second level three? Do I roll the check, or do you roll the check? I think you roll the ch- Well, that's a good question. What's your spell's level? Three, thirteen... Yeah, I'll I say get a, I get a, I get a plus one from my ring, so it's fourteen. Yeah, you're good. This uh, this blue circle is no longer, no power of darkness. No darkness. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's it for me. Okay. Luminar. No, Elvator. Oh, wait, Elvator um, went. Okay. All right. Yep, Runar. Runar's going to keep chopping. Go for it. Kabooms and kabooms. Kaboom, kaboom. A crit and a 27 to roll. Damn. Okay, 18 and 32. Try that sleep spell now. <laughs> um, forty-eight. That's a lot of damage. Forty-six. Eighty-four. One twenty-four. Thirty ninety-four. Okay, avoided. Okay. And who's up? Question. Oh, Basil. No. Babar. 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 The people are screaming that there's something strange between your legs. And something strange! Will... Don't look good. I will move out here. Mm-hmm. And... So, oh, that is just my willy. <laughs> Little willy, mm. willy, willy. I'm gonna wait out here. I'm gonna go out here and just wait for something, and I'll hold my action for anything that comes out. I will attack. No, you saw something. They they screamed it out that there's something between your legs. You yeah, see would. It. I mean, I yeah, but I can't. I, I can't attack anything that's gaseous. So. Can you? It doesn't. Uh... <sighs> I thought there you had like magic fists or something. No, there are ways to do it. But, yeah, I mean, I, don't you? Yeah, your fists are magic. Fists are magic items, aren't they? Yeah, but yeah. but I don't think you can hit an incorporeal enemy. Okay. I don't think so. So I will wait for him mm-hmm. to form. Okay. A... Gotcha. So he's gonna go here and gash his form. Wait. Uh, 
Yeah. So this is him now. He's over here. He's floating away. Actually, I'm sorry. I did that wrong. You have to do it in a different direction. He's floating into the giant terrarium thing. In the giant what? The giant terrarium thing where all the monsters were. Uh. Okay. And then the other one is going to take his wax at Basil. Man. Uh, is it Basil's AC is above 11, so... I guess he gets hit once. Or. Basil says he's 17. Yeah, so he gets hit once. Okay. Um, With what? Big wave. And it is 2d10 plus 4. 10 points of damage. Man, I ain't rolling like crap tonight. Okay, and then Basil's up. Okay. Um, he is going to try. No, I To do the whole person. Go for it. Okay. He has, to, he has to roll a saving throw. What's the AC? Is it 15, I think? 15, yeah. Okay. And it's... Is it con? Um, wisdom. Oh, yeah, I know. He's done. He's held. Okay. Um, that's all I can do. Okay. So he's held, and then Makudo's up. Held? Yeah. Now it's plop, plop, bite time. He's paralyzed for uh, a, t um, a minute. Any of those hits? <laughs> You're at advantage since he's held, so they all hit, probably. Knock them prone when, like, you do your thing, or you have to declare that with Makuto. Are because he's paralyzed? Aren't these automatically crits? If yeah. they are paralyzed, yes. Okay. That's and what I was told. So he's at ninety-four. Yep, uh, he's dead. Boom. Kudo for the kill. Good kitty. Okay. So the gas blob is still floating into the terrarium. It's it's it's. You notice that it's floating into the giant crayfish because there's a hole. There's water pouring out of it, but it floated right through the hole. Because you remember the that cold blast fucked up the whole terrarium. On um, Basil's next turn, he's gonna fireball him. Okay. Into the water? Okay. So, the bike time's up. Alright, uh... <clears throat> Where 
Where did this thing go? Into the terrarium with the giant crayfish. Into that water thing. Remember, they blasted out that cold air. So you guys were occupied with combat, but you didn't notice it damaged the terrarium wall. So water is starting to pour out of it a little bit, and that's where he floated through. Okay. So if I come? So am I able to like uh, fly above it if I um, engage my dragon wings? That That's how you got there before. Yeah, you flew above it before. But now it's Remember, he's in it. He's not above it. He's in the water. Yeah. Okay. So he's gas underwater? Yep. Magic. I don't ask, these, I don't ask questions. It just works. I think. Probably. Um, I don't know. Icon's just gonna say, I, I don't know how to affect this th thing now that he's a gas. Any ideas? In the meantime, mm. I'm flying up right, up right here. Morphous blob. <laughs> I know where this is going. Okay, my rage um, disengages since I haven't attacked anything. I have one level of exhaustion because of the frenzy. <laughs> Sorry, any ideas? And attacking an amorphous blob? Yeah, underwater. Mm, lightning? Uh, yeah. Let me get the handout. Yes. Is that for it's so long? You guys don't even remember what it looks like. Um, Basil has fly in his ring, so he could use that. And a bonus action, and then he could fly over there and then cast lightning against the thing. Might work. So, which layer is being filled with water? Is it just the bottom one, or is it. So, did you get. Did, you get, did, it pop, did the show to player scene pop up? Yeah, the, the, the hand. The terrarium popped up. I'm just yeah. wondering what. In the terrarium, like, is it the entire thing water up until the top layer, or is it just the bottom layer that has water? Just, so, the top layer is water, the next layer is sand, the layer below that is water. And you guys flew above this last time, but the, the wall's been damaged now from that ice. Oh, I see what this is. Okay. So you're starting, the one thing none of you noticed, and I rolled, none, no one, because the combat, right? No one noticed. Water's starting to pour into the room. Oh, okay. And it's filling up this outer section and overflowing. So it's, it's so the so this is flat, right? Yeah. So it's damaged. I should did, I did, I worded that incorrectly. Water's starting to pour down into the lower areas. Okay. And they're starting to so fill up? I said that badly, yeah. So it's starting to get damaged. So that's how he's floating through it. So he can wind up at any level. He can wind up at the bottom where the mana core was. Okay. Mm -mm. There could be some secret passage you guys didn't, you know, deal with. You don't know. And you want to have Basil run an Arcana check? 
Can you do it for me? I got to repo on my laptop. It, it, the battery right now. Uh, hold on, let me see if it works. Uh, Check in the screen, didn't crash. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Um, he doesn't know. Well, he's going to flood, do the idea I said. He's going to flood over with his ring of spell storing on a bonus uh -huh. action. Then he's going to use lightning, cast lightning um, against the. The amorphous blob. Okay. So hold on. Let me go through his spells because how many level one? He cast Sleep and he cast Magic Missile. Yeah. Mark those off. And he didn't do Burning Hands. He cast Hold Person. Let's mark that off. He cast Shatter. Let's mark that off. Um, did he cast Hold Person? He did. Yeah. Okay. That's how it went. Okay. I guess the, uh, they killed. Yeah. Okay. So what, what, you want to have him cast lightning bolt? Okay. Yeah. And burn off his ring. That'll kill the ring, right? That's the last charge of the ring. No, no, it's reloadable. It's like it's okay. it's just like I load it up and stuff at the every time we rest. Okay. Five time or something left. Um. Okay. So you fly over, you cast lightning bolt. Yep. Lightning bolt. Right. Save is. Is there a save? Yeah, it's a save as well. Ah, okay. DC 15. He does not save. Okay. Um, let's see, uh, can you roll? Uh, you see, it's not working for you. You gotta um, roll damage. Let's see what I'm doing. Yeah. Thirty. Okay. Seventy-eight. Oh, wait. Um. Gashes since he's in the water, I think it, it does double damage from lightning. Does it? Uh, I'm just making that up, but I think it... <laughs> I'm making that up. Okay. What, is it the water? If you were in the water and lightning hit you, it would, you know... <laughs> it would hurt more. Yeah. Okay, the blob is still floating. To the top? Oh, uh, no. No. Because this is bad with lightning, right? And it didn't affect him? Oh, it I mean, it burned the shit out of him. Okay. Well, that's all it can do. Okay. So that's him. Anyone else do anything? He's getting away with the magic item you need. Theranos has a wand of lightning. I do. He's moving Damn toward it. the crayfish, I... Theranos. I'll let you What's have that? one shot at him. I'll let you have one shot at him before he's hidden by the crayfish. All right, let's hit him with a lightning bolt from the friggin' wand. Remember what the magic was? Yeah. DC is what? What? It's a DC. So roll, I guess he takes half damage. Oh, actually, sorry. He has an advantage on dex rolls, dex saves. So he definitely takes half damage. Roll for 86 and we'll cut it in half and see if his All 12 right. hit points are enough to survive. Dun, 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 dun. 
Dun, 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 dun. Lateral tie float. You make this as hard as possible, aren't you? There you go. Plus two. 35. Oh, you killed him. <laughs> okay. Morgoth, you're using your uh, thing. Yeah, well, it's from my staff, so. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So, so I have is... 10 charges a day. That's only four out of 10. So I'm good. Cool. That wasn't for so, my spells. That was for my that was for my staff. So I have good news and bad news for you guys. He is dead. He's in the water. The sword you're supposed to retrieve is now under a giant crayfish. You are also the proud owners of a giant hookah. What? It's part of the treasure. Okay. Is there any special wacky tobacco? Is there any what? Is there any wacky tobacco? No, this is regular tobacco. Well, is okay. Hold on. Is the crayfish like interested in holding on to the sword? It's parked above it now. Okay, but is it like is it mo it. is it guarding the sword or is it just kind of sitting on top of it? All right. Is it? What? Purposely on top of it, or is it going to eventually move? No, it's. I mean, you don't know. It's a crayfish. I don't think you 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 recognize the details of um the life of a crayfish and its wants, its needs, its desires. Nor do it's I care. <laughs> Nor do you care. Basil's going to use mage hand to pull it up. <laughs> there you go. It's like mage hand, <laughs> and it's underwater, so that should make it lighter. Okay, so um, oh, I can cast that. Okay, well, you could you could both cast it, and then that would assist with moving it through the water to give us the sword. <laughs> you guys are very weird. Yeah, that's that's what we do, man. We voluntarily win the D and D game. I'm going to try opening up Discord on my computer really quick so I can drop all the loot in. Okay. Open. I should be able to charm this thing with the Dominate Beast, right? Um, Dominate Beast would do more than charm it. Dominate Beast would mean that you could command it. See? What? Do what, the, what does it save against, though? Well, okay. How wise could a crayfish be? Your judgmental nature will mean you'll never understand the depths of crayfish society. <laughs> you'll forever <laughs> just be a two-legged crawdad to them. In the mountains I was raised that we didn't have any crawdads. You have any craw moms? <laughs> okay. Loot. Three blades. I'm gonna get me a pet crawfish. So what kind of sword is that? What? What's that? What kind of sword is it? Great sword. It is smarter than you. Well, with my headband, I have a 19. Okay, oh, it's right. as smart as you, but unlike you, it doesn't have a magic headband. <laughs> so, you know, take what you will from that. Oh, hold on. Is this the last adventure in the whole series? No, not even. You guys are like a third of the way through. A White Plume Mountain? You guys are a third of the way through. Yeah. 
third of the way to the mountain. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I dropped the stuff. I mean, he had a nice room, um, but you guys kind of fucked it up a little bit. Not too bad though. Um, lavish furnishings and decorations in large room. Of course, you know, with rugs and cushions, tapestry. Hookah is tall as a human adult stands in one corner, and a large piece of furniture is a sumptuous divan. Okay. A sentient great storage. Yeah, I don't even know how to deal with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm it's it's going to be quiet for the rest. It's going to be quiet for the rest of the game if any of you guys want to pick it up. We'll deal with it next week because I don't want to like go through the hassle of that. Okay, so you guys have cleared this section of the dungeon. Um, you guys clear out this room, right? Yeah. Rifle through the poor hob halfling yeah. stuff. Yeah. I have Basil check for like secret doors and stuff in there. The, he doesn't have anything. 